Amelia, this hasn't been a very Merry Christmas for this family, but the blessing in all of this is that everyone is okay. But still, this family is left with nothing, no food, no clothes, and no place to call home. They're hoping that the community can help them move forward. I was just like distraught. Haley Longo and Isaiah Burnett were on their way to spend Christmas Eve with their family when they received a phone call that changed their lives. We were there. We were, we were with our kids, with our family, enjoying our time, and we got a call from my friend that was driving by. Their home and everything inside of it were burning away. The Godfrey Fire Department said when firefighters arrived on scene, the home had smoke and flames showing. Firefighters were able to get the fire under control quickly, but the home sustained significant damage and is unhabitable. The fire department said if we were asleep or if you know, we weren't, it could have been, been way worse. Mm -hmm. They said it was really bad. So yeah. I'm just really thankful that we're all here, still able to spend Christmas with the family and we might not be able to have presents for them or, or whatever, but at least we're here and healthy. Our son actually seen the house and he didn't even want to come back. He, he's just worried about where we're going to live. Their son is only six years old. He and his two sisters, ages two and one, sadly won't be having the Christmas they hoped for. A house filled with presents, lights, and a Christmas tree now covered in ash, debris, and charcoal walls. A couple of days ago, we were all telling, hey, Christmas is going to be great. Christmas is going to be this. We're going to be doing that. We're Now look at us. Despite the devastation, the Christmas spirit is still alive as community members are coming together to help this young family in need. Our local community has really helped. I mean, just from donating money, the Red Cross came out and gave us money for a place to stay. I just think that people offering like their children's clothes, I, I just can't be more thankful for that just because we don't, you know, have anything. So I just think that what everyone's doing now, I know we have a GoFundMe, so anything that anyone can donate, and I know it's the holidays, we just do appreciate it just because we have to completely start over everything. I can only imagine what they're going through, but if you would like to help Haley and Isaiah and their three children through this tough time, you can visit our website at fox2now.com for more information. Reporting live in Godfrey, Michaela McGee, Fox 2 News.